Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the ticker symbols that were in play today. Okay, first up we're taking a look at ZYNE. Um, congrats to everybody that, that was following our uh, last video. Uh, this finally bounced. It closed up 21%. Um, it did bounce off of the six support zone. So um, as you can see down here, um, uh, th there was a gap created on the chart. Uh, this is the top of the gap on the bottom of this candle. And then there was a, a, um, a, a gap down open on the seventh. And then uh, the upper wick on this candle is the top of the gap. And so uh, there was a pullback. Uh, yesterday and it ended up creating a higher low and it held support and then today there was a nice bounce and a close above the bottom of the gap so that was a nice close above resistance and then notice the candles worked their way back into the Bollinger Bands so there was a close above the lower Bollinger Band the upper wick did hit this EMA 4 at 867 resistance zone so that's going to be the key level to break so it's going to need to break the EMA 4 now that is coming down so it will be lower tomorrow so uh, it's going to need to get uh, clo have a close above EMA 4 to head higher you know putting EMA 8 on deck um, the, the stocks that are in a, a downtrend ha have a hard time breaking EMA 4 so we'll see here if that's going to signal the top of this bounce a close above EMA 4 would be really bullish and you could see a potential run up to EMA 8 um, if EMA 4 turns into resistance you could see a pullback um, to test the uh, uh, bottom of the gap support level um, there was a nice volume spike today um, yeah and so so the key going forward is, is to follow the intraday charts and as you can see here the uh, the the Bollinger Bands were tight heading into the close yesterday so uh, yeah uh, notice here uh, the uh, tight Bollinger Bands okay this is the upper Bollinger Band and the lower Bollinger Band and then there was the break above resistance uh, notice how uh, this candle here broke above the middle Bollinger Band and the 50-day the simple moving average. The middle Bollinger Band is the dotted purple line and the 50-day simple moving average is the, is the green line. That was the signal that the bounce was in play. Candles Road EMA 4 support the entire day. It did finally break down here at 3 o'clock. So, so EMA's 4, 8, and 13 broke down and then there was a close below the middle Bollinger Band currently at 764. You do not want to see this uh, 760 zone turn into resistance tomorrow. You want to see a bounce off of the 750 and a run back up to 820. Uh, this 820, 825 level is the key level to break. Okay, if it fails to break those levels, you could see a drop down to test the uh, 50 uh, simple moving average currently at 687. So it, it, if the middle Bollinger Band turns into resistance, that'll be a signal that the, the bounce play is stalled out and, and the share price is going to pull back. It, it, if it can hold the 750 support zone, um, it, it needs to break above 820 to head higher. Okay, so yeah, nice move for ZYN. That was a nice bounce. We'll have to see if it can follow through. Okay, so check out ANTH. This did close up uh, nearly 11% today. Um, it had uh, after hours uh, news. And, and so, uh, yeah, if you look here, you'll see it had some uh, FDA news about some orphan uh, about orphan drug uh, designation. And so, yeah, you can, you can check this out. Okay, so this did create a, 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 a big move up after, in after hours trading. So the share price did uh, close up here at 165 after hours. So as you can see here, there's going to be a gap on the chart. Um, notice the, the close today was down here at 146 and then after hours trading sent the, the share price all the way up to 165 so there's going to be a space in the chart between the top of this wick and, and, and then wherever the, the share price opens it could trade lower pre-market it depends on the pre-market action and, and, and so going forward um, you know one thing to keep in mind is you always have to keep an eye on the gap you know that they, they might try to pull back and fill the gap if you see a black candle created tomorrow um, at, at the start of the trading day that could be a red flag um, um, the, the big support level to hold is going to be the 50-day simple moving average at 159. Since the share price is above that level right now, you want to see that turn into support. That's that's the big level to hold. Um, if it if it breaks below the 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 159 uh, 50-day simple moving average level, that's going to signal this gaps likely to fill a drop down to 115 and possibly to test this middle Bollinger Band. Notice it closed right at the middle Bollinger Band. Um, not sure if you're following uh, me on stock twits or not, but uh, you know posted some information today um, yeah we had alerted this uh, early in the day in the chat um, it had broken uh, the middle Bollinger Band intraday this is a stock that we've been following and, and, and the last close above the middle Bollinger Band was back here in in June
soon. And, and, and so the uh, this was going to be looking like potentially the first close above the middle of Bollinger Band since back then. Notice how how the, uh, you know the same thing happened here, but it but it uh, failed to close above, and the downtrend continued. So we were looking for a close above that level. The signal the chart was heating up. It actually closed right at the middle of Bollinger Band, similar to back here. So it didn't give the uh, the the signal that that uh, we were looking for. But but then the after hours uh, um, action happened, and as you could see here, the the, the clue that that this was in play was the huge volume. Notice the huge volume bar. So a lot of people were loading today. So uh, yeah, it, 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 there there was huge volume that was signaling uh, upside potential in the intraday break above the middle Bollinger Band. Um, uh, Notice that there was a PSAR uh, bull flip that the green dots had flipped below the candles today, and there was a MACD bullish crossover on the 12, 26, and nine, and there there was a, 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 a MACD bullish crossover in the 8, 13, and 5 last week. So these are all signals that the chart was heating up and a possible new uptrend was getting ready to start. So going forward, what bulls want to see is they want to see this green line hold. As long as candles stay above the green line, uh, it's going to need to bust through the upper Bollinger Band at 171. That's going to be a next key resistance level of break. If it could turn the 50-day simple moving average into support, the 100-day simple moving average will be on deck at 215. You know, if this thing really got running tomorrow, that would be the level. Um, keep an eye on black candles. Uh, black candles do signal uh, downside risk and uh, potential gap fill. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the next stock here. That's HTZ. Very nice move for Hertz today. Uh, notice that that uh, even though it closed up 23%, um, it's it's only at 62 on RSI. So it still has room to run to overbought levels. And as you can see on past runs, it, it's gotten up here into the mid 80s. Uh, it, fa Fasto is back above 80 and in the uh, power zone. Notice how this head's high in the power zone so so check it out on the chart and there, there was a bullish crossover on ADX with plus DI crossing ADX to the upside so that is a signal the bulls are taking control uh, so uh, uh, on this chart today the, the the bullish move was the break above the middle Bollinger Band the dotted purple line currently at 1558 and so that's the key level of turn into support you know there was a break below that level back here in the end of July and that was signaling a possible start of a downtrend the 100 day simple moving average did hold currently at 1350 that was good. You know, there was a bounce off of 13 down here. You've got the 50-day uh, simple moving average at 1240. You know, this is all providing big support. Now, now the share price is back up at the key resistance level. Notice that th th this was the, the closing price back here on the 19th of July. Okay, and it closed basically at the same level. Um, it tried to break that level back here in, in uh, the, the last week of July, but it failed to and it pulled back. And, and uh, another thing, you know, there, there was a gap fill. So you notice there was a gap between these two candles. So this gap did fill. So that that is a, a um, you know that did uh, uh, there was a climax on that event. You know, there's a gap fill event and it's hitting key resistance. So notice how many tops are at this level. Th this was support back here and then it came back and it hit this as a top. And then, uh, you know, there's a top and a top. So there's multiple tops at this level. And so it needs to close above and turn it into support to head higher. If it fails to break this level tomorrow, then you could see a pullback and, and the middle Bollinger Band tested. If it closes above, then that's going to be, be a, a, a very bullish signal with more upside potential. The next key level to break is going to be this 200-day simple moving average at 1874. You know, if it can turn that into support, then you're talking about this 21, 23 level uh, back here in uh, back here in March. So, so yeah, so this is the the, the huge level. Um, you know, this almost looks like a, a inverse head and shoulders with the uh, with the uh, left shoulder a giant head and a right shoulder with the neckline right here. The bottom line, this horizontal resistance line, is the key level to break a close above signals more upside potential. Fail to break signals consolidation. Okay, let's take a look at CBLI. This this stock is uh, you know had a had a nice move today, but but it did give back some of the gains and and you know you never like to see that. Okay, so it did close up 15%. Uh, RSI is at 59, so it's still you know not at overbought levels. It's got plenty of room to run. The big pullback from a high of day has fast O down here at uh, 53. There was a big uh, crossover here on ADX with plus DI crossing minus DI and ADX to the upside. 
upside. So, you know, whenever you see that, that's a signal that, the you know, the bulls are taking over. And so CBLI has been, you know, was on this multi-day run on very light volume. Look how light the volume was. This is a thinly traded stock. And then today, big volume came in. But it looks like, looking at the upper wick here, they used the big volume today to sell some shares. Looks like possible dilution. Whenever you get a big run to, to a high like that and then a pullback with a long upper wick, that, that usually signals, uh, you know, definitely signals profit taking and a lot of times it signals shares being sold. Um, it closed above the 100-day simple moving average and the middle Bollinger Band today. So that was very, very positive. It did also close above the upper Bollinger Band. And, and so sometimes when that happens, the candles do work back into the bands. If they do work back into the bands, you want to see this middle Bollinger Band hold. This is the first close above the middle Bollinger Band since way back here. And, and, and so, you know, the, the start of June. So this is similar to the other chart that we were looking at with, with, the, with the same setup. Um, you know, the first close above the middle a Bollinger Band like A and T H that that's that that's a big uh, you know signal uh, bullish signal that a possible uh, reversal a, a bullish change in trend is taking place and so in order for that to happen this middle Bollinger Band needs to turn to support keep in mind the middle Bollinger Band is also the 20 day simple moving average okay notice that the share price pulled back and closed below the green line that's currently at 304 that's the 50 day simple moving average that is the key level to break fail to break that level and this will definitely consolidate and pull back and test that middle Bollinger Band. Going forward, candles forming above that 50-day simple moving average are going to signal more upside potential, and you can see a run back up here to this high of day. Um, fail to break that level, and, and you're likely to see the middle Bollinger Band tested. Okay, so yeah, so this is a really nice move. It just needs to break resistance to keep the run going. Okay, nice crossovers on MACD, and, and a nice uh, PSR bullish flip, and, and you know, and a nice close above a uh, 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 multiple uh, key resistance levels. So this is a, a strong move. It just needs to uh, break the 50-day simple moving average to continue the upside. Okay, let's look at DRYS. <clears throat> okay, this is Dry's. Get me all choked up here and dries. It's up 23%. My goodness, who 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 would have thought it could uh, sustain the gains and, and hold on to them into the close? That's the thing with dries. You just never know um, when it's going to actually like keep going and not just uh, uh, completely sell off. So so you have to keep in mind, uh, um, you know, when you're playing with dries, you're playing with fire. Um, you know, we talk about this because a lot of people are following it, and um, you know, but we never uh, recommend trading it because it's very very risky. So yeah. So so we'll, we'll break it down there for you. It, it, it's below 30 on RSI. It's at 22. You've got a, a fast up here above 20. Um, you know, it crossed over the 20 line. So that is a, a bullish signal. Um, the, the the chart is heating up here. So so if you notice down here, the, the EMA4 ha, has turned into support. That's the pink line here currently at 153. It, that level needs to hold. Um, notice how EMA4 and EMA8 currently at 157 are pinched what you want to see is that pink line crossing the green line to the upside the line line if that happens that's going to be an early bullish reversal signal if candles start riding above EMA's four and eight support you could see a run up here to first the first next level to break is EMA 13 at 219 and then the middle Bollinger Band at 250 that's the ultimate level to break in order for dries to actually get a new uptrend going it needs to close above the middle Bollinger Band and turn it into support you know, if if that ever does happen, and and it, and it could happen, you never know. Um, the uh, you know, if they stop uh, selling shares, they could this could totally go. But but you know, if they keep dumping, the, then it's going to drop. Um, but you know, what we have our eye on is this gap up here. So that's like if, if this ever does get above the middle Bollinger Band, then this gap zone turns into the uh, target zone. You don't have to break the bottom of the gap first. So the, the so those are the upside targets and upside potential. You know, a, a run up there to the the to to the four dollar level and if it broke above the gap it could possibly run to six that that would be the the really nice upside potential if it ever did happen if it got above the middle bollinger band if it fails to break middle bollinger band resistance then that's going to signal that that the downtrend's continuing this is the most bullish that that dries has looked in, in a very very long time so it, it has been unable to sustain a bounce so it, it, it this is uh you know positive but it has to follow through now it needs to stay above ema 
teammates four and eight to continue the bounce. Notice the close was right at right at the August first close. So that is the key level to break. You know that's basically the top of this uh, sideways and sideways channel. Notice how an ascending triangle pattern has basically formed here. The, the candles are wedged here in between ascending support and horizontal resistance. So one of the two are going to break. It's either going to break above this red line. That's going to signal more upside potential and a run above two dollars potentially, or it, it could uh, break down and drop below EMAs four and eight and, and uh, uh, ascending support, and then you could see a drop back down to a dollar. So that's the upside potential and downside risk for dries. This is, you know, looking, uh, you know, like things are, uh, you know, this is the, like I said, the best it's looked in a very long time. And you know, the the motto is, you know, there are no bad stocks. There are, are only bad entry and bad exit points. So bad entry points, bad exit points, but no bad stocks. You know, it's just a matter of timing. You know, so so yeah. So keep an eye on DRYS. And then if you look here, AMFE. Okay, now this is a, a marijuana sector stock. This trades over the counter. Just want to show you here what what the uh, uh, stocks can do. Um, if you look here, um, you know it, it's been it got a nice uh, nitro boost from their uh, last uh, uh, earnings report. Um, you, you could check it out here. It's on Yahoo Finance. You know revenues were up and um, yeah. So so yeah. So so they they got the nice boost and it's got this nice uptrend going. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, you can see here it it had the uh, gap up on this is the earnings day. And so it pulled back, and then now it's tra traded back above the, to the earnings day, and it closed above that level. So, so basically, candles have been riding EMA four support higher. This is this pink line here. Notice how long they've been trading above that level. Basically, since uh, back here, um, down here on the 19th of uh, July, notice how candles were below the middle Bollinger Band and they crossed above. Well, they've basically been riding EMA's four and eight support ever since. You know, this has been you know EMA eight got tested here and it held. And so going forward, when you have a run like this, the key is to keep riding as long as EMA4 support is holding. Once EMA4 support breaks, that's a signal that, that uh, you know, the, the, the run is cooling down. And, and it, it, you know, EMA8 is likely to be tested. If EMA8 support breaks, that's going to signal the charts breaking down and you could possibly see a, a breakdown to the middle Bollinger Band. But as long as support is holding, the signal is to keep riding. You know, look at this uh, dream swing trade for, for, the, for the swing traders. You know, this is the kind of chart that you're looking for. And, and I want to show this to you because this is uh, uh, this happens in, in the sector. You know, they, they pick a, a stock or two to keep running and, and it forms a really nice pattern and it becomes a nice uh, multi-week swing trade. And so the key is being able to identify the uh, stocks with the right patterns. So if you want to learn more about that, come and check us out at our chat. Okay, um, let's check out ERBB. Um, it, it, this is the, uh, you know, the, the stock that the, the company that said they're, they're buying a town um, in California. And so, uh, you know, for their marijuana tourism, whatever they're trying to do there um, out there in the desert. So uh, we're not sure if they're going to be able to pull off their game plan here or not. But, but the bottom line is the stock had a big run on the news. So the news came out down here. It ran all the way up to 4.6 and then it, it, and it pulled back. No, okay, so this is uh, uh, last Friday, and then on Monday, you know, the news went out big over the weekend, and it had a big gap up open uh, on Monday. It did come down to 002, but there was a gap down to 0 0.0017, and so the share price ended up running to 0046. You know, it had the gap down. You know, the uh, the, share, the gaps fill in in uh, for over the counter stocks. So just keep that in mind that that if there's a gap on the chart, it, it's almost 100% guaranteed that it will fill at some time you know maybe we'll go 99.9% .9 of the time um, they don't fill but I mean it's like literally every time there's a gap on, on a penny stock that trades over the counter the, the share price at some point at some point is going to come back and it's going to fill that now the RBB did this quickly it came right back down the lower wick on today's candle filled the gap so it filled it at 17 now that is the key level to hold notice that EMA 8 is right here uh, right below the close or uh, or right above the close today um, at, at 0.0019. And, and so what you want to 
to see is that level of hold. If if it can stay above EMAs four and eight, that would be bullish, and that that would uh, signal more upside potential. You know, we don't want to see this breaking down and dropping below sixteen here. That would signal a full breakdown. A stock like ERBB has a huge um, uh, OS and AS uh, outstanding uh, shares, and, and so so you know it has a big float. So uh, you know you you want to have it going into a, a strong uptrend. So what we're looking for now is a bounce. We're looking for a, 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 a bullish reversal pattern to form. And so if you look here at the ERBB uh, five-day, 15-minute chart, you can see here that, that the Bollinger Bands okay, the, are, are super tight. That's the, uh, the, the lower Bollinger Bands, This the, the blue line here, and then the, the blue line here is the upper Bollinger Band. And notice how, how they've gotten very tight. Look during the breakout how wide the Bollinger Bands were. And so when they get super tight like this, many times that signals, uh, uh, well, it signals a uh, change in trend is coming very soon. Similar to back here. Notice how the Bollinger Bands were super tight and then it broke out to the upside. Well, stocks can also break to the downside. So if, if, if there's going to be a change in trend coming very soon. That's what the, the Bollinger Bands are signaling. And so if, if there's a break below uh, this 1817 support level, that's going to signal downside risk. You can see a potential drop down to, down to 12, 14. Um, if the, the break is above 0 0.002, that and the upper Bollinger Band, that should signal that the bounce plays in progress. You could see the 0024 tested, and then the big level to break is going to be 0028. Notice how it was big support. The reason why 17 is a, a big support level right now is look how it was big resistance um, <clears throat> a couple days ago. So so the big resistance um, turns into support. And so we want to see that level hold. Uh, th this was uh, down to um, uh, uh, basically, um, if you look here, it, it was, uh, uh, you know, it started the run down at 0 0.001. Okay, and then it ran up to, you know, it ran up to closed up here at about four, but notice how it ran up to 0046, and then it's pulled all the way back to 0017. So you have this 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 nice Fibonacci retrace where it hasn't fully retraced from the from the from the start of the run at, at one, but but it's it, if it breaks down any further, that's going to signal uh, you know too big of a retrace and that the, that this the stock is just broken. Right now, it needs to hold this level and bounce. And hopefully ERBB will will let that happen. It, it, you know, for for a stock like this, it's all up to them and their financiers. It, it, if they don't dump shares, then it can run. So we'll see. They have the momentum on their side right now. They have lots of people interested. They could take the share price much higher if they just let it breathe. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, there's big support today at zero zero one seven. We're gonna see if it'll hold tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much for viewing this video. Check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at, at mychartcoach.com for more uh, charts and technical analysis.